But first this evening, we are, of course, to state the obvious, an island people, and we depend as a result hugely on shipping. In fact, 95% of everything that comes into and goes out of the country travels by ship. And yet there seems relatively little awareness of all of that, especially perhaps in our schools. But that's about to change thanks to a project in which uh, schoolgoers will track the movements of some of the biggest container ships to visit our shores. It's a project called followed the fleet. And our very own able seaman Tom McSweeney uh, brings us this portside view from the classroom. Ireland is a maritime nation with a proud record of maritime achievements. Antarctic exploration, the modern submarine and the Beaufort method of measuring the wind at sea are all things that Irish people have had enormous contributions towards and we in the Marine Institute feel that young people should be told about these things as part of their curriculum at school. Ireland is an island but its maritime traditions have been ignored by successive governments and there's been no inclusion of the marine sphere in formal education. Quite surprising when without ships this island would be in serious difficulty. There'd be no oil to heat our homes or power our factories, no petrol for our cars and a lot more of what's needed to live must come to this island country by sea. Coffee, tea, oranges, bananas, coal, the list is endless. And that's a lesson in economics and geography which is now being taught to primary school children through the Follow the Fleet program. These days I would say the um, children in Ireland have a very little concept of shipping in general. I'm sure if you went to a school in the Midlands they wouldn't have a clue like that the car their mum drives in the school in was actually imported from somewhere in a ship. The petrol that keeps that car going is imported into Ireland, it comes in in a ship. At St. David's Boys National School in Artane in Dublin, a city school, the pupils of 8, 9 and 10 years have learned a lot from the Follow the Fleet programme. So first of all, it's showing us different kinds of cargo. So what did we say cargo means? It means delivered um, stuff to different countries. Okay, very good. Now, if you check on your um, screen, what kind of cargo do they carry? They carry crates. Good. And what what kind of things are the crates made of? Um, wood. Good. Very good. What else might they carry, Killian? They carry uh, stuff like bread and stuff. Very and good. They carry fillets. Good. Well, Follow the Fleet itself is really centred on our ability to track and trace our ships wherever they are in the world at any given time. For example, if we put the cursor over the vessels themselves, we can see their heading, their position, the prevailing weather conditions, the pressure, speed, and in addition to that, not only the information, not only where the position is, but we can also give a realisation to the students and the teachers of what the ships look like. The website itself has detailed pictures of the vessels, and here we have the, the Arclo Wave, the sister ship of the W-class vessels. And in addition to that, we have interaction with the ship's captains. We just tell them about our life on board, where we are, what we're doing, where we're going. For the children, we make a point of making an interesting of what, where, how we're going to get there what happens to the cargo after we carry it. I want you to go back up to um, Arclo Shipping. Click on Arclo Shipping. Now at the end of the page it says, find out where these ships are right now. Do you want to, will we find out where they are right now? Yeah. Because they're always moving, aren't they? Yeah. So just yeah. click on click here now. Arclo Shipping, the country's biggest shipping fleet, is cooperating with the Maritime Development Office and the schools in the project. And Captain Willie Mates reports back to the schools. He's been 25 years at sea with the Arclo company. When I was a kid, there was, I think it was a Tuesday or a Saturday, one of the, again, days of the week in the national press, I think it was, I think it was the Irish press, there was a report from uh, Irish shipping the ships, where they are, what they're doing, where they're going, who the crew are. So it could be said it's a modernised version of that. I would see that it's education in a real way, as opposed to an abstract way. The kids can follow particular ships, they can see real people in those ships, they can see cargoes, they can plot the position where the ships are going. It's real life for them. It's not an abstract thing. And the downside of it is, or upside of it is, that they learn a lot about the countries where the ships go to, the seas, the currents, the weather, a whole range of things. The actual potential of the Follow the Fleet project is limitless. 
We've had an amazing response from school so far. Really and truly we were going to an untested ground and we brought Father Fleet to schools both in coastal areas but also inland and the kids have found it very, very interesting because they're getting to see something they've never seen before which are merchant ships carrying cargoes in adverse weather conditions. They get to interact with the ship's captains and they get to track and trace modern ships at sea. And who knows, but uh, one day those young people might be captaining their very own vessels.